So welcome everyone. This is Orbit Jewelry. My name is Kim DuPont. I'm an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. If you are joining us via Facebook and you see that red live button, it means we're currently live. If you no longer see that button, you're watching the replay. You can still claim from the replay. You're just going to comment sold, a space in the number, just like you see it above my head. So I am hopping on here a couple minutes early and we're going to just send a quick text out to everyone letting them know that we are live. So I'm just going to get my video. Hello there, ladies. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy Halloween Eve. <laughs> Who's ready for tomorrow? All right, let me just send a quick text out. And there it goes. We are ready to rock and roll. Alrighty. How are you ladies on this happy Sunday? My gosh, I am like so pumped tonight. I'm really excited for tomorrow. Really excited for tomorrow. So for anyone who is just joining us, if you're watching the replay, set those alarms because tomorrow night, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time, we're gonna try and start a little bit later, give people uh, a chance to do their little Halloween festivities. Um, but tomorrow night is our Halloween party. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. So it'll be uh, a lot of fun. My husband, AKA Mr. Bling, AKA Wilson, <laughs> whatever you guys want to call him, he'll be joining me. We will be dressed up. Uh, this will be year two of um, our Halloween party. We did it last year. We had so much fun. So I hope we have, uh, I'm sh I shouldn't say I hope. I'm sure we'll have as much fun. Hello, we didn't, it was sold out, Tiffany. Yeah, we were supposed to do the pumpkin spectacular last night and I went online to buy the tickets yesterday, completely sold out. I was so bummed. And the only thing that they had available for tonight was at like seven, so I knew I wouldn't make it back to go live. And tomorrow night there is, well, as of yesterday, there were some tickets for tomorrow, but yeah, I was kind of bummed. I said, shame on me for not going online to buy my tickets earlier. So we did not get to do it. Hence why I didn't go live <laughs> from the pumpkin place last night. I know, I know, I was so bummed. We were looking forward to it too. And I just, you know, went online and I'm not even thinking it ends tomorrow. For some reason, I thought it went into November and it ends tomorrow night's the last night. I'm like, yeah, that was not smart on my part. <laughs> next year, next year. Um, so joining us tomorrow is my husband. We are dressing up. Uh, so if you missed that little announcement or if you missed the event, we do have the event set up on our business page, Orbit Jewelry on Facebook, so make sure you're liking and following that page uh, for any notifications. And um, tonight, what do we have? I have a lot of sets prepared to show you guys. We do have some Z necklaces as well. Um, everything, I'm not I'm gonna say everything you're gonna see. Everything other than the Z necklaces, everything else is just $5. Super cute costume jewelry, so many colors, styles, metals. There is something for everyone. Our shopping week runs Sunday to Saturday. Shopping carts expire every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern. You must be checked out by that time. Orders ship out on Monday. So all of the orders are ready to go tomorrow. Yay. <clears throat> I know, I was like, what? I couldn't believe I... I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Tammy, hey girl, how are you? Um, brand new shoppers, you do wanna make sure you are a registered shopper and that way anything that you claim during a live sale is going to go into a shopping cart which you have access to 24 seven. So much fun. Diane, hey, hey girl. Susan, hello there, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Um, you all ready for tomorrow night? I am. I'm like, 
antsy. Marissa, hello there. Hello, hello. Uh, I do honor the buy 12, get the 13th piece for free. And the way it works with Common Soul, the system that we use, once you have purchased your 12th $5 piece, I'm automatically adding a credit to your account for your free 13th piece. And the balance just continues to, to carry on. So once you hit that 13th free, it starts over. So for every 12 $5 pieces, if you purchase a Z necklace, you actually get credit for five. So technically it's really $5 for every $5 in product. Um, a Z bracelet would be credit for three. Alrighty, we are gonna jump in. I do have a lot of sets. I over-prepared. <laughs> Vicki, hello there. Oh, and happy birthday to all my October peeps. You guys should have received a little uh, something from me. Um, if you have not already provided me with the month that you were born in, we'll just pop it in the comment uh, and I'll add it to my spread list. Miss Tanya, hello there. How are you? How are you? How are you? All right. I was looking around for something, but I don't know what I was looking around for. I can't remember. It's been that kind of a weekend. <laughs> Alrighty, we're going to jump in here. I always start with the pieces that I have on. If you're shopping from Facebook or Instagram, you do need to comment sold a space and the number just like you see it above my head. If you are shopping from the mobile app or the website, all you have to do is click on the photo add to cart. Renee, an October girl. Happy birthday. Let me just jot that down. October. October. Alrighty, let's start. I'm gonna start with my necklace. So right above my head, you will see sold 100. All of the necklaces do come with a pair of matching earrings, um, unless it's an urban. This is called Basic Babe, sold 100, 100. Oh, um, first time shoppers, make sure you use coupon code first. When checking out, you'll get free shipping on your first order. After that, our weekly shipping rate is a flat $5. Any order of $50 or more automatically gets free shipping. Basic Babe, here are the earrings that come with it. Very lightweight, longer necklace, Sold one zero zero, October 8th. I was holding it up, I have it on. Carla, hello there. So that one sold 100. Oh, love these earrings. These earrings you cannot even feel. They are so lightweight. Oh. Two different so one's the seventh and one's the eighth. Hello there, Miss Susan Darso. <gasps> Carla, uh, aren't they amazing? Twine Tango. Like I said, you cannot even feel these on. They are so lightweight. Orange, that rust color natural. Sold 101. This is a post back. 101. Aw. Twine Tango. For my earrings, my bracelet is like almost like this little turtle shell of bling. Sold 102, 102. There's two snaps for sizing. 102. So, as I was saying, shopping carts expire every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern. You have the option. You can leave your shopping cart open for the week and just keep adding to it. Um, some people prefer to do it that way. Some people prefer to check out as they go. Either way is entirely up to you. If you check out as you go, the first time you check out for the week, the system's going to charge you the shipping fee of $5. Any checkout within that same week before that 5 p.m. Eastern Saturday cutoff, the system will not charge you an additional shipping fee. Better recognize, the only thing it is not smart enough to, to do for you is if you check out throughout the week 
and your order totals $50. Common Soul doesn't realize that. Um, so at that point, you'll have to reach out or I will try and keep an eye on the shopping carts and make sure that I put that credit back on for that shipping if you spend $50 or more. There's the lucky girl, Miss Paula. Paula, Paula. Alrighty, my ring. Badlands Garden sold 103 standard stretch, the orange and the white crackle stone. That one is sold 103. So Miss Paula was our lucky winner Friday night of the bling bucket. She won 18 pieces. So we do expect you to put some sort of a post on the VIP group. We want to see. Everybody wants to see what you got. They told you to um, do uh, put it all on at once. Susan, it was sold out. I was so bummed. I was so bummed. I was saying to earlier, I'm like, what? Well, I don't know what I was thinking because it ends tomorrow. So we didn't go last night. Ringing Relic. Now here's another option. I almost wore this one, but it was just kept getting caught in the, because of the angle of my top. This has texture on these rings. This one's called Ringing Relic. Sold 104104. Also, if you're joining us via Facebook, in the comments section are the links to our mobile app. It is available for Apple users as well as Android. It's free to download, so much fun to shop from. Claiming is actually quicker if you're on the mobile app or the website because all you have to do is click on the photo. <laughs> I hope you love everything in there. But if you don't, if something in there is just not your style, um, you've got a head start on some holiday gifts, right? Now here's another option for the rings. Mojave Monument 105. This too is a standard stretch. All of the rings do have the stretch back. One size fits most. Anywhere from a 6 to a 10. Yeah, you have to, and you have to buy the tickets online. So I went online just to verify the time. Um, and it, you could only buy the tickets online. And it was, you know, for specific times. And it was sold out yesterday. Tonight there was some tickets available for seven, but I knew that I wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do that and make it back here in time for my live. So. Needless to say, we didn't make it. Tomorrow's the last night, but we'll be preparing for our Halloween party. So we'll have to wait till next year. <gasps> Celestial Royal, 106106. Oh, okay, Carla, no worries. 106. This beautiful red and then the silver gemstones. You've got the red earrings to match. This too has a lobster claw and extender. Sold 106. 106. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Here is a great earring to match that. The same color stones, sophisticated starlet, sold 107 fish hook backing. That one sold 107. I love this earring. And right in the center, this rhinestone right here is an iridescent. So you have the silver, um, the hematite, the red, lightweight. That one sold 107. It's going to be perfect for the holidays. Here is another option with that red. 108 sold 108. Anybody go to any Halloween parties this weekend? 
costume dressing up. Glamorous Garland 108. And here we have a stretch. Metro Marvelous sold 109. 109. Alrighty, we've got a couple of different rings. So I've got a silver gemstone ring and a ring with a red stone. Here is Luminary Luster, sold 110. 110. So we're going to do, instead of the Spread the Love tonight, I'm going to do it tomorrow night uh, so we can include all of tonight's shares. That one sold 110 standard stretch and we've got lots of goodies tomorrow to give away as well including some z bracelets so make sure you set those reminders to come hang out with us glowing gardens sold 111 now here's a little tip you notice this ring the stretch comes all the way to the top if you have a larger finger and you have a hard time um, with the rings, this style may be more comfortable versus the style where the solid metal comes down to the side of the finger. You may find something like this more comfortable and you still, you can't even tell they're stretchy. Even if you see a little bit of the band, unless you're looking really close, you have no idea. Glowing Gardens 111, 111. I love these rings, uh, especially for traveling, because I blow up like a tick when I travel. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Trailblazing Talisman sold 112. 112 yellow gold. So spread the love. Um, share this video out so you do have to share it out from facebook that's the only way i will see who actually shared the video as long as it's shared publicly we automatically enter you into the drawing trailblazing talisman sold 112 unfortunately um, even though you have the ability to share from the app i don't see um i don't see that there isn't a way for me to track that Hopefully, Common Sold will make that change and we'll be able to see that. This one is called Back to Nature. A dainty, a little yellow gold. You have the brown tones. So you'll have different tones in here and you can see in this one, there's a blue. So each necklace is going to be a little bit different. That one sold 113, 113. Back to nature. Miss Charlie, what are you doing? I love these. They sound heavy. They are not. Deceivingly Deco sold 114. 114 in the yellow gold. That one sold 114. Or you can put a little itty bitty baby hoop. Irresistibly Intertwined sold 115. So a little dainty hoop in yellow gold. There's a little bit, almost like a rope um, design twisted. That one sold 115. You So you dressed up at work on Friday, Paula? I just saw that. What'd you dress up as? Beat Around the Rose Bush sold 116. This one's a stretch. Sold 116 in the yellow gold. 116. I've seen some posts, um, some cute costumes. Really cute costumes. I'm like, how creative. How creative. Looking like a million. Emerald green. Gorgeous. Now this one is going to sit 
right about here, that beautiful teardrop emerald green stone. It does have white rhinestones. And this one, you could wrap this chain through and make it a short statement piece if you preferred. That one sold 117, looking like a million. It's so pretty. So I have that one, which I paired with these earrings. Glow your true colors. Grow your true colors. Anybody see anything really um, unique? A friend of mine, her and her husband dressed up, um, they went to a party. They were Forrest Gump and Jenny, <laughs> and it was awesome. So he had the long beard with the Bubba Gump shrimp hat, like when he was running. I think just about everybody has seen that movie when he was uh, running across the country. 118, it looked fabulous. 118. Here is another emerald. Ooh, this one is currently sold out. 119. So this one's automatically going to go to wait list. That one is a longer necklace. Sold 119. That one must be sitting in someone's cart. City Slicker Sleek. Say that five times fast. One, two, zero. One, two, zero, three bangles. Smooth silver, kind of that rope design. And then this one has the varying shapes of the emerald and then your white rhinestones. Lustrous Luminosity 121, sold 121. Lobster Claw Closure, gorgeous. I love this color. 121. And I think either one of those necklaces, smoldering, I showed this one the other night. This is a one and done post earring. It would be beautiful with either one. Oh, that's a good one. A bug and a can of raid. That's a good one. One, two, two. See, people are just so creative. I admire creativity. I really do. <laughs> Butterfly fossil, one, two, three. This is so cute. You have the little flower and I'm hoping that the white light is not washing it out but it's this little acrylic flower that sits up that one sold one two three that's a good one see I have to remember all these one year we went as um Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf. I was the wolf and he was Little Red Riding Hood. Dream Sparkle, dainty. So that's the difference between the dainty band and the standard. This one's Dream Sparkle, sold 124. 124, emerald with the white rhinestones. I'm excited. Here's another emerald billowing beauty one two five standard stretch this one is sold one two five one two five and i have one for him as well so the men's rings are also stretch but they don't you don't see that same I'm just going to try and pull that. So you can see that back side of that is a stretch. This one's called Scholar. Sold 126. 126, that gorgeous emerald. 126. All righty. Let me move this over here. See all the goodies? I was having fun today. 
I was having fun. All righty. This set here, actually, I have it in two different colors. So I'm just going to hold up the two colors, and then I'll show you what I paired with this. This is a cute seed bead and like almost um, freshwater pearl shaped pearls. This one has the pale pink and black, and there's some silver in there as well. This one is the blue, yellow, and pearl. So we've got the two different colors. So we're gonna start, let's start with, I guess the blue and yellow. Tracy, hello there. Modern Marina. So like I said, your dainty little seed beads, which on this one, blue, yellow, and white, and then the pearls. So it gives it a soft feminine feel to it. A little on the casual, more casual if you want to make it a casual necklace. You can definitely do that. So the necklace is 127. It does have the extender. That one's 127. The coordinating bracelet is sold 128. 128, which also has the lobster claw closure. 128. I love this set. I've got a couple of earrings. Here is a yellow powerhouse call, 129. 129, lightweight. That one is sold 129 yellow. It would pull the yellow seed bead right out on that necklace and bracelet. So that one's 129. Here's another option for yellow. Free Spirited Spirit, 130. This one is sold 130. Another very lightweight earring, 130. Now the other color in this set, like I said, has the pale pink, black, and some silver seed beads. So here's the necklace, Modern Marina 131, sold 131. Modern Marina 131 for the necklace. The bracelet in this color is sold 132. 132. Now you could put pearls with it, you could put black, you could put the silver. Um, I chose pink to pull out more pink. Here is one Wandering Waikiki, sold 133. 133. Pale pink. The light makes it look almost white, but it is a very pale pink. There's some antiquing, or make it fun with a pink leather earring. Country Crush sold 134. That one sold 134. Pink leather. Anything leather, acrylic, um, there was one other thing, leather, acrylic, wood, <laughs> that's it, is weightless. You really cannot even um, feel those on. Similar to these, these you cannot even feel. Part of the reason why I love them, because I do love larger earrings. All righty. Here is a lavender unlock your sparkle. You have the teardrop in the lavender. You have a little crystal like bead, the key and the tiny little tassel. Medium length. Unlock your sparkle sold 135. This one sold 135. So even the long necklaces will have an extender if there's a lobster claw clasp. So you really can make that adjustment. Some of the necklaces, I will do this quite often. If the chain is large enough, you can take that lobster claw and just move it down to shorten the necklace. And that way you've got a, multiple ways to wear it, either longer or on the shorter side and you just leave the piece that's hanging just let it hang inside of your top 
So that one sold 135. This is a lavender pearl and the iridescent rhinestones. So this one too is more medium length, modern day demure, sold 136, 136. This is such a pretty necklace. Such a pretty necklace. So you've got that lavender at the top, but you really could pull in other colors because of that iridescent down at the bottom. So here we have a little lavender dainty earring, springtime salutation, sold 137, 137, dainty, or here is an earring which does have the iridescent little stones. Seafoam Shimmer 138. This one sold 138. I think all three of them, I'm, I thought one was uh, just a white rhinestone, but all three of the stones on the earrings are all iridescent. That one sold 138. Oops. Floral Innovation sold 139. So you have that hook opening and that little gemstone in lavender. That one sold 139. One, a three, and another one. All right. I wish I could give guys hints, but as soon as I start giving hints, you're going to guess it right away. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of it. This is Galactic Glow in Brass. Galactic Glow with the iridescent little beads on here. Sold 140140. If you have not responded to the invite tomorrow for tomorrow um it's set up as an event on our business page so the event um will show the the halloween party starts at 9 30 eastern time tomorrow night we are going live on facebook our business page our mobile app our website just as we normally do we are not going live in the event so just make sure you hop over if you jump uh, or watch our lives from Facebook. Um, make sure you go to our Facebook page. But we will be live on the app and the website as well. This necklace also has those iridescent faceted beads. And you can see how much sparkle the light hits it. We do have the coordinating bracelet as well. This one is sold 141, 141. And here's the matching bracelet. Twinkly Twilight, 142. Lobster Claw Closure on this one, um, which I have almost all the way out. Well, no, I don't. I thought I did. But you've got your single beads on this side. I thought that was the reason why I had it, but I don't. 142 sold 142 and we've got a couple of different earrings that I paired with those necklaces. Here is the first sold 143. So we're moving right along. We're going to keep things moving. 143. There isn't. So Susan, that's I wish. I wish paparazzi would come out with earrings like that so i paired i picked pieces that i thought would be pretty um now this one is a one and done higher love in brass so it's just a very simple longer earring in the brass with the hearts at the bottom that one sold 144 it is a fish hook backing yeah that with this with these you know what let me grab a 
I actually used all my busts tonight. Um, the shorter necklace, Susan. I'll put it on a bust, though. Hold on. You'll be able to see it a little bit better. Uh, no, I don't want to move that necklace. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Okay. So I'll just kind of hold them up so where they would be approximately. Oh, that's a good one, Tiffany. Mario and Luigi. That's a good one. So that's those. This is the higher love that I just showed. Hopefully you can see them well enough. And I also have this one. And this too is a one and done. Foul play. Now this one has the Aurum stones. These are pretty. So you get a little sparkle in these earrings, but not the iridescent. It has the arm, but I think it would be cute too. I think it would be cute too. All right. So let me, while I have these off of here, let me grab these. You're so welcome. You are so, so welcome. Annie. I love that show. <laughs> Badlands Bonanza 146. 146. Olive green. I do have this necklace in orange as well. So that acrylic. The earrings are really cute too with this. That one sold 146. 146. Here's another olive. Egyptian spell 147. Egyptian spell. This looks really pretty on. And this one I do also have this one in blue with a blue bead. That one's 147. So don't hesitate to ask if there is another color that I mentioned. If you want to see it, I am happy to grab it. Or if you're looking for something in particular, let me know. Bountiful blessings. And I may have. Yes, Susan, absolutely. Um, I should just keep my mouth shut, but I'm not. I may have found the angel um, necklace for those that were looking for that one. Unfortunately, the dragonfly, I have had no luck. Bountiful Blessings 148. 148. This has the green, the would be. This is such a cute earring. 148. Let me grab the blue. Sometimes they hide behind other things. Here we go. Here we go. It's a pretty blue too. Here it is in the blue Egyptian spell sold 149. Now, with this orange, it looks great on the orange. 
That one sold $149. Egyptian spell. I'm gonna just gonna pop it on the seam bus there. And with that olive green, here's a three-piece stretchy bracelet set. All it has olive green and then the tan. Western Quest sold 150, 150, tan, and then a uh, like cinnamon color. That one sold 150. Here we go. There we go. Pretty, right? Shiny copper. Deep Space Diva. Deep Space Diva. That's a good name for Orbit Jewelry, right? <laughs> I love the, they look like bubbles. That one sold 151. 151. Deep Space Diva. The perfect earring with it, too. Jaw droppingly a jelly. 152 very very lightweight earring as well 152 if you missed this one the other night the more i look at this necklace the more in love i am with it fearlessly floral these are all little i'm going to try and hold it so you can actually see the little flowers and there are white rhinestones throughout that one sold 153. It is so cute. 153. It has the little flower earrings to go with it. But here's another option. Twisted Elegance 154. 154 medium length in this. And it has a little bit of texture to it. Sold 154. Twisted Elegance. Oh my gosh, Susan, you're going to love it. It's so pretty. I know you love copper. Couture Clutcher Top Open Hinge. Now, my wrist is seven inches, so it'll give you an idea of the fit. That one sold 155, 155 in the shiny copper, 155. back here. I'm going to move these over and grab this set. Whoops. So I've got in here, we've got a couple of different earrings, ring. Um, I've got two, three different bracelets that I paired with this. I know you do. <laughs> And as I get to know my customers, you know, when I go in and I shop uh, for pieces, I have all of you in mind. Now, newer customers, it will take me a little while to learn what you really like. Um, sometimes if someone places an order, like I had a new customer this weekend who checked out uh, with quite a few pieces. So if she was shopping for herself, I have a pretty good idea of the, what she likes just based off of what she um, purchased. But uh, sometimes it takes me a little bit longer depending on the pieces. The main course sold 156, 156. But that's what I do. I try to find things that I know you guys uh, like. This one, um, you have some texture and that large hammering called the main course. So with this one, I've got, like I said, two different earrings. Modishly metallic 157. There's a brushed finish. This is a very lightweight earring, extremely flattering. If you like a larger statement earring, this is a beauty. Oh, look at that. Sold 157. 157. 
Here's another option. <laughs> I know. It's so hard. Sahara Shark 158. Sold 158. <gasps> and even I get carried away. Right? With buying. And I sometimes I have to just back off and say, because it just like, you know, everybody's on a budget. I have to be on a budget too. <laughs> Here's a one and done urban jungle silver with a python print faux leather. That one sold 159, 159 statement bangle. And I have a hinge. Radiant Ruins 160, 160. Like I know I have a few customers who just love copper. <laughs> Radiant Ruins, that one sold 160. Molten Maverick, 161. This one sold 161. This is a beautiful, beautiful bracelet. It's one of those pieces you can just grab and go. It will go with anything. Molten Maverick, that one sold 161. That's right, what your favorites list is for. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so on the app, uh, you can favorite things, which is nice. Rural Rebel, 162. Now, most of you know that there are new releases Monday through Friday. Um, and when a piece sells out, majority of the time, that's it. It's gone, um, never to return. Sometimes we'll see it in another color or another metal. Um, you just never know. <laughs> you never know. 162. But I do try and find what I can. So if there's anything that goes to wait list, I do check those wait lists. I check with my team. I see what I can find for you guys. Um, sometimes I'm lucky. Sometimes I'm not so lucky. All right, I'll give you one little hint for tomorrow. Well, I, I'll tell you the, yeah, so sometimes we're, we're lucky and we can find it. We're lucky and we find it. I'll have big hair tomorrow night. <laughs> That's one, one little, <laughs> tidbit I'll give you. I'll have big hair. Opalescent Oblivion 163. 163. This is a beautiful um, iridescent. You can see as I move this, you should be able to see the various colors in there. And you can see the faceting. So when the light hits it, you're picking up The sparkle. You do have the tassel earrings with this one. That one sold 163. That's a great holiday piece, too. I put a feather cuff. How do you like this feather? <laughs> How do you like this feather? Now, Again, seven inches, but that opening on this one is on the smaller side. So even if you have a smaller wrist, I think this would work because that opening is small. It does have a little bit of give to it. This one sold 164, 164. And here is a nice medium to smaller hoop curves curves in all the right places sold 165 
165 curves in all the right places. <clears throat> Elite Squad 166 Dainty. 166 Dainty. Now, somebody asked me one time, you know, could you get another ring inside there? And uh, the answer is, I don't believe so because of one, because of the curve, and two, that opening is just not wide enough. Elite Squad 166. So let's shoot to have as many people with us tomorrow night as we can. So if you go to our Facebook page, our Orbit Jewelry Facebook page, and go to the event, you can share the event out. Um, and I would so appreciate if you do that. Here is Lunar Jungle, a daintier necklace, the hammered texture. You've got your cute little earrings. So this is a shorter 167, 167, and I decided to put with this white stone. So I've got a couple of different earrings, daintier, and then a nice size hoop with the white stone. This one sold 168, 168, and you've got that same hammering on this one as the necklace. This is a very lightweight earring. It looks like it would be heavy, but it, it's not. Def definitely down to earth. That one is sold 169, 169. Here's the three piece stretchy take by Sandstorm 170. Three individual stretchy pieces. That one sold 170. Butterfly Bell 171. You can see the little butterfly, which is on both sides. That one sold 171. 171. And a dainty band. That has a standard stretch. I do have a dainty band. Thirst Quencher sold 172. This one is 172 called Thirst Quencher. So that's a daintier ring with a white stone. Oh, this Y shape, very flattering. And this has a silver pearl and then the charms. We saw one similar to this the other night in the mint green. Hello there, Lisa. Vintage Heartthrob. Vintage Heartthrob sold 173. Like I said, this Y style is very flattering. I'm supposed to thin things out. <laughs> I can use all the thinning out I can get. <laughs> now this bracelet, one side is stretch and then one side is like all your little charms. That's a one and done, sold 174 and that has that silver pearl, 174. And here is the silver pearl earring. Things are looking upscale. 175, sold 175. Fish hook backing. These pearls are all strung on here. That one's 175. All right. I'm going to grab my Mr. Ghost over here who's holding on to something sparkly, too. These necklaces, so they're. Um, 
the gold and the purple has the same shape. This one has um, the emerald cut, but they all have this gorgeous faceting. The sparkle on this necklace is just insane. This necklace, photos don't do this one justice at all. This one you have to see in person. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. This one, the purple is sold 176, Cosmic Close-Up. That one is 176, I know many of you have that one. Here is the gold. This is another great holiday piece. This one sold 177 in gold. Oh, these are gorgeous. I love these necklaces. With the orange, it actually looks really pretty because it pulls almost that orange tone from the gold. It looks really good, I think, with orange. That one sold 177. That was the one our little ghost was holding on to. And this is the blue, which has the emerald cut. This is sold 178. 178. I'm down to 13 of these left. I will hate to see this one go. I really will. <gasps> one, seven, eight. Another one, it's just, I don't care. You will go anywhere and someone will comment on that one for sure. All right, let's put the gold one back on our ghost. <laughs> That'd be cool if you guys could do that. <laughs> This one, Dauntless Dazzle. This has got a little bit of weight to it. I am not going to lie. But it is stunning. It is the brass metallic seed beads. And it is beautiful. So even take that silver one out from underneath <gasps> this. It would look fabulous with this orange and dungaree. That one sold 179, 179, the layered metallic seed beads. I put with this some bling. Twinkle for two, 180, 180, twinkle for two, a very lightweight. Whoops, it would help if you saw the sparkle side. 180, warm. Twinkle for two. Or, here's another great earring. This one's a post back. Diva Dust, 181. 181. Love, 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 love. They are beautiful. Now, I'll be honest with you. Before I joined paparazzi, I had no clue that stone, I think, even existed. <gasps> I really didn't. Crystal Candelabras, 182, stretchy, 182. Cynthia, happy Sunday. Express Your Selfie, 183 Standard Stretch. 183. I just think this stone sparkles and looks fabulous. And how I found, how I found paparazzi, and I'd love to hear 
how everybody else uh, came across it and how you found me, right? I would love to know how you found me. Um, this one's called Modern Millionaire 184, sold 184. How I found it was a friend of mine um, one year brought me some jewelry and she brought me quite a few pieces and she said everything was $5. I said, what? No way. And she's like, yes, everything was $5. I said, I, okay, I, this is crazy. You found me on Facebook, Susan? Oh, I'm so glad you did. And I ordered, because she told me who she bought from. Um, and I said, okay, is it just the pieces she brought me? Did she happen to bring me just like the good stuff? Um, so when I went and I ordered uh, a few more pieces, I, so I just had to see it and buy it for myself to say, is this real? <laughs> And those pieces came in, and next thing you know, I'm watching and watching, and boom, I was hooked. I was hooked. Cynthia, see, you only wore silver as well? Yes, yeah, Susan too. Well, you know, and it's because of the fact that it's $5, you don't feel so guilty buying something, even if you're not sure you're like, okay, I can buy a coffee for $5 or get a piece of jewelry. Um, where even in, you know, some of the larger stores, <laughs> you can't find a piece of jewelry for that. Oh, I'm so glad you found us too, Paula. I mean, Susan, I was reading Paula. You found paparazzi a few years ago by accident. Yeah, I think we all kind of found it by accident. Like, who knew? This one's called High Stakes Fame. Tiffany Paula got you watching us. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm telling you, you just can't. Once you realize that... Um, you can find like all of the same fun, trendy, fashionable pieces that you find in department stores. Like, who would want to spend that money? I really wish when Caitlin was in high school, I really wish I knew about paparazzi because I spent way too much money on jewelry. Secretly Sassy 186. You play around with brass and copper, Cynthia. Awesome. Lisa, you found me on Facebook. Cynthia found me on Facebook. Yay. Secretly Sassy. That has a lobster claw closure. So this one is um, the gunmetal, the yellow gold, but you also have some white rhinestones in there. So I promise... Uh, for anyone who is new to Orbit Jewelry, um, I do my very best to provide exceptional uh, customer service. I do still work full-time. I really wish I could do this full-time. I'm not at that point yet. But, um, so I may not get back to you, like, during the day or, you know, immediately, but I will get back to you. Kick them to the curve, 187, 187 in gunmetal. This is a nice lightweight hoop, 187. Yeah, Susan, you're right. And there's always new things coming, which is exciting, but impacts our budgets. <laughs> But I've always been the type, even, you know, if I go shopping, I go for sales. I don't, I, I never, ever want to pay full price for anything. I would rather walk out of a store with five different things instead of paying this crazy amount of money for one. Aw, <laughs> uh, Cynthia, I appreciate that. I truly appreciate that. I try my best. I mean, my, well, sometimes we'll be a little goofy or, <laughs> but I try my best to be very professional. 
this means a lot to me. You all mean a lot to me. Um, and if you weren't here, I wouldn't be here. Budding Beauty, 188 in rose gold. You know, getting orders out in a, a timely manner. I can promise you that orders will always go out on Mondays. Checkout is always on Saturday. This one is found, Fond of Florals, 189 in rose gold. 189. Yeah, Susan. It, it's amazing the prices. Paula, we did not go to the pumpkins last night. We were supposed to go last night, but it was sold out. I went online to check the time and I didn't even realize you had to buy your tickets online. So I'm glad I went to the website to check, you know, what time it would be open till, but the tickets were sold out. Like you have to, um, you know, pick the day and then pick the time. So they must spread it out because of, you know, having just too many people in one area. Um, there was a time available for tonight I, at seven, but I knew we wouldn't have enough time to make it back for my live. So I think we're gonna have to wait till next year. Maybe all of us uh, Papa Chicks that are in the area, in the Rhode Island Mass, Connecticut area, maybe we could all meet and do the pumpkin spectacular next year together. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Savannah Oasis, rose gold. Now this one runs a little bit big. So again, my wrist is seven inches. If you've got a little itty bitty wrist, this one is going to be too big for you for sure. But it's a beautiful rose gold. It does have some give. 190. You've seen consultants arguing with customers and even cussing? <gasps> That's very unprofessional. Like who would, you have to treat it as if you were in a brick and mortar shop. Who would treat their customers that way? That's, that's terrible. That's terrible. Yeah, I am the good entertainment. <laughs> Not where you want to spend your money. I don't blame you. Now, this is a one and done. This is a gorgeous gunmetal and the blue cosmic cocktail sold 191. Yeah, so we'll have to plan, keep that um, in mind. The Papa Chicks hit the pumpkin <laughs> spectacular next year. Sold 191. 191. And for any of you that are looking to make a road trip to New England, actually fall is a great time to come. Um, summertime is a great time to come too. Sizzling Showcase. So this necklace has, I see it's currently on wait list, um, but I can check to see if I can find any others. This one has the hematites on here in between. So that's why I picked this earring. Sizzling Showcase 192, 192. That one is sold 192. Now I picked this bracelet because I think even though this is set in silver, I think between the blue, the black, the hematite, you wouldn't even notice that it's silver and the necklace is gunmetal. Right? When they're sitting, not so close to each other, but that's going to pick up that blue and the hematite. Do you see? Like, you don't even really even notice that that is silver. This one is sold 193. 193. love this bracelet extra exposure sold 193 yes yes so they fight for pieces 
Now that 191, that blue necklace, I will try my best to see if I can find it because um, we do have a few on the wait list now. Dare to Flare. This is a great hinge for a smaller wrist. Um, and I do have this one in, oh, and I have it right here. Do have it in gold and I thought I had it in another color too. I might have it in silver. Hold on, let me just double check. Um, Cause this is actually a very perfect bracelet for a smaller wrist. Dare to flare, dare to flare. No, only gold and gunmetal. Like for some reason I thought I had one. I don't. All right, so 194. So again, I have seven inch wrist. I don't have a whole lot of wiggle room, right? It just slides, but once I put it there, it's not moving. It's comfortable. I don't know if it comes in copper, Susan, but let me jot it down because Susan, dare to wear copper question mark yeah i'm not sure all right one nine so one nine four for gunmetal and wrong screen kim let's go back to the correct screen and 195 for yellow gold Yeah, this one's definitely good for a small wrist. It fits, I have a seven inch wrist. It fits, it's comfortable, but I don't have much wiggle room, which means on a smaller wrist, it will move a little bit more on you, right? Where it will just sit, like where I put it, that's where it stays. It does not feel tight. So I would say medium to smaller wrist, this one's best for. I think that's just going to be my signature. <laughs> I wrap everything. Um, yeah. Got to take good care of that. Now, this is a zine collection piece, and this is from 2022. So this is one of the newer pieces called Optimistic. Sold one nine six. All I did is I took a tape measure, which I don't have any down here, but all I did is I put it where I would normally wear a bracelet, right? So I didn't stick it right close to my wrist. Tape measure and just wrapped it around to get the measurement. Whoops, backwards. Isn't this beautiful? And this is not a heavy necklace at all. So it's blingy for sure, but I think it's soft looking, feminine. And the earrings are a comfortable weight. They're not heavy. So this one sold 196. This one I can get more of for sure. And I paired it with this stretch, Beloved Bling, Beloved Bling. <laughs> you try and open it without ripping the tissue paper. Aw. <gasps> You're funny. I actually tried to, I went looking to see if I could have tissue paper, um, personalized, you know, customized for Orbit jewelry, but it was just ridiculously expensive. But I said, oh, how amazing would that be for my tissue paper to actually read Orbit jewelry. Beloved Bling 197. Sometimes you just got to be smart about what you spend your money on, right? <laughs> All right, before we go there, let's go back here. <laughs>
So are you the type that uh, for a gift that you get, you're very gentle with your when you open it and try and open it from, you know, the edge or where the tape is? Here we have some blue and orange paired together. So these are two separate uh, necklaces. Here we have this dainty little orange, fierce and fringe. So it's the double strand and then that fringe style. So 198, and you are like that. <laughs> oh, so you would not like it here on Christmas morning. Oh. You too, Timothy. You do it all uh, nice and neat. An orbit stamp. Stamp the tissue paper. That's a great idea, Cynthia. That is a great idea. So Christmas morning here, it's just you're you unwrap and you just throw and you don't you rip the paper there's no like a dainty unwrapping you just rip the paper and you just throw the paper in the middle of the room and we clean up after the fact and the animals will lay in the paper <laughs> make some room 199 199 in blue Yeah, Susan, oh my gosh. A convention, the way everything is, you know, behind the glass, the models that are wearing. Oh my gosh. She's 105, Tiffany. God love her. That's amazing. Make some room, 199, 199 in the blue. So I think you can, I think it look, actually looks cute stacked, right? The orange and the blue. Oh my gosh. You don't hear of that very often. I love that. Desert Fiesta, 200. Sold 200. Orange, the blue, green. This is a great, look at how great this looks with the orange top and dungaree jacket. Sold 200 lightweight earring. That one sold 200. And we have the same coil in the two colors. Here's blue. 201 Whimsically Whirly in blue. Whimsically Whirly. I know, I think that's precious. And 202, does she love jewelry? Does she like jewelry? And does she use, if she does, does she wear um, pierced ears or prefer clip-ons? That one sold 202 in orange. Orange and blue, love those two colors together. Together. Now this necklace, inner, it's called Inner Beauty. There's a little white rhinestones. Need the blue coil. She likes candy. <laughs> oh. Oh, speaking of candy, we got who was with me Friday night when we did the candy game and I had the bowl of candy. Yeah, that's almost gone. <laughs> I it went back up onto the kitchen counter. And what did I tell you? Every time I walk by the counter, I grab a piece of candy. And so does everybody else in this house. Grandparents just turned 97. Oh. Oh, did they just go into assisted living? But they both just turned 97. God bless them. Well, we'll pray for all of them. All right. 
this one. Hold on. I want to get this so you can see. There we go. Beautiful Inside and Out. Sold 204. She likes reading books. This one sold 204. 204. So that's the matching bracelet to that necklace. Here is a cute um, smaller hoop, gold, and the white rhinestones come all the way to the back. Positively Petite sold 205. That one is sold 205. Positively Petite. And here's the post, the square, Times Square Timeless 206. 206. Times Square Timeless. 206. Alrighty, where are we going now? How about some more bling? Bling and bling, bling, bling. Alrighty, oil spill. Oil spill. This is a Z, so this is a $25 piece. It is set in gunmetal. The earrings are lightweight. And the colors are just magnificent. 207. The little hoops, ready to wear daily. That one's called Obsessed. This is from 2022. So this is one of the newer uh, Z pieces. And it is spectacular. So the earrings that come with that are, are perfect, but I do have this um, post back earring, Galactic Go-Getter 208. Oh, it's going crazy. You know, I saw the numbers drop on the app. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Is anybody else having trouble on the app and not it not um, working right? This one sold 208. You got kicked out twice, Cynthia. Oh. Susan Foucher, it's good for you. It's weird because there were we're I'm showing two people in the app right now. Which is much lower than it normally is. I wonder Terry, it's good for you. Okay, good. Now, this is a one and done. I think ice can. This is a crawler. So, this is technically how it will sit on the ear. It has the post closure, and then you have this little, almost like a hook, that hooks on to the upper earlobe. So, it sits like that. This is sold 209. It's fr is Facebook freezing on you, Tiffany? Susan, yours shows eight. I think it shows eight in total. But I'm only seeing two people. It's just saying app two. Is Facebook freezing up, Tiffany? Or was it the app? Because you're on Facebook right now. I wonder, remember one day last week, Comment Sold, I mean, yeah, Comment Sold said that Facebook was having some issues, but I wonder if anything's going on. Um, it keeps changing. Okay, hold on. I wonder if, yeah, I only see, I'm still only seeing two. Hmm. Ah, technology. Sometimes it's just supposed to be <laughs> foolproof. <laughs> Dauntless is more. This is a top open hinge. The app's good. Okay. 
logo showing six on the app okay well you guys let me know if it starts going if it gets worse if it keeps um hiccuping or freezing let me know dauntless is more sold 210 210 and that one you can see i've got i've got two of these available two of these available in dauntless is more actually i'm going to leave that one to the side here for a moment so i don't knock it over and we're going to go back here with the gold now this one hammered that i know right talk about sparkle um, that one, and that oil spill looks so pretty with like uh, plum, um, pink, like a uh, fuchsia, green. First impressions, two eleven sold two eleven, hammered. That one is sold two on one. Earrings with this one are a nice size. Sold two eleven. Here is a white moonstone with a gold. It was yes, it was a lost uh, life of the party piece. Yeah, and November's life of the party piece are due to arrive here on Monday, I believe tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. <gasps> two one two. Two one two. All of a sudden, I panicked. I'm like, "What date? What's the date?" <laughs> like, like fashion fix, but that's on the fourth. <laughs> that's on the fourth. <gasps> Casual connoisseur. Two one three. Two one three. I know it is a pretty earring. This one has a lobster claw clasp. That one sold 213. And a bangle set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven individual bangles called full circle 214. So you've got some texture on a couple and then the smooth yellow gold. So I am a systems trainer. Um, I work for an insurance brokerage firm, and I do all of the new hire training, whoops, acquisitions, when we take on and purchase other businesses, I do that training. Yeah, so I'm on the phone talking all day long. <laughs> And it's so funny because sometimes my husband would call me, you know, if he was on his way home from work or if he was stuck in traffic and he would just want to chit chat. And I'm like, mm -mm. I don't, I, I've been done. I've been talking all day long. <laughs> I feel bad sometimes, but depending on how the day goes. <laughs> Alrighty, let's pop it back here. Oh, this gold and iridescent. It's different though. It's different here. Like honestly, sometimes I feel like I'm just chit chatting with my girlfriends. Um, and not that I don't, I do enjoy what I do. I've been doing it for a long time. I do enjoy it. Um, I definitely don't wake up in the morning and say, oh, I don't want to go to work. I, I do not have that um, feeling at all. But this, I love. So to me, even though this is my business, you know, I'm working my business, this does not feel like work at all. <laughs> at all. Celestial Cruise 215, but I take it seriously. 215. I do have... Oh, excuse me, I just choked on my own saliva. I do have this one in silver as well. The earrings and the necklace. Spage Ace 
Age Sparkle sold 216. 216. That one is 216. And I have to tell you, this one has become one of my favorite bracelets. I just think this is the classiest. You don't drop it the classiest bracelet or one of the classiest bracelets. It is a smooth yellow gold finish, just that swirl. To me, it looks very high end. Um, this one is sold 217. I would not be surprised if we see this one come out in silver. Oh, yeah, that's not a good feeling, is it, Cynthia? Tiffany, you're a cashier. So you have to always be pleasant, even on the days where you feel like you don't want to, right? Any type of public interaction. And I'm sure sometimes you don't get the nicest people. Right? Sometimes people are just downright mean, and I just think it's a shame. And when you have leadership that doesn't appreciate um, what you do and what, how you contribute, that's that's sad too. That's that's tough. I've been with the same company for um, going on twenty nine years. And I, I lucked out. I really did. It's a great company. Uh, I will retire from this company. <sighs> People aren't always nice. And it's a shame. It just... There's no need to be nasty. But some people are. You have to bite your tongue. You're right. And sometimes it's hard to do. But with your art and soul, this is the blue, blue stone. I do have this one in the pale pink as well. This one sold 218, 218, medium length. That one's 218. Life is too short. To be nasty but I do believe in karma <laughs> I do this one's called the drop-off sold 219 219 shiny silver this one I do have in copper I have this one in the shiny penny copper that one sold 219 But I do like teaching people because that's basically what I do. Colossal Curves 220. And everyone learns a different way. Ah, <gasps> oh, yeah, that's just, that's a shame. And that's when management should be right there, not allowing that to happen. That's, that's not nice. Well, even, um, you know, when you call someplace, I understand sometimes that you get frustrated, but just getting nasty doesn't solve anything, <laughs> right? <laughs> Now, this one is the blue suede blingy, two snaps, four sizing, 221. Customers are always right. Well, you know, I kind of, I understand that thought process, and that's what a lot of companies do, but it's not always the case, right? Sometimes customers are not always right. <laughs> 
But I know that's what management, you know, and for years, that's what people have always preached. The customer is always right. Right, exactly. Sahara Sear Blue. This is a knuckle to knuckle, a beautiful blue stone standard stretch. And this is one of those styles where the stretch comes almost to the top. So you don't have that solid metal coming down the side of your finger. It will fit, um, you know, if you have a larger finger, this style would be good. That's correct. Yep. <laughs> you know, my mother always said to, I remember this from a kid. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. How many people had, how, how many of you had your parents, somebody tell you that? <laughs> Angels Among Us, two, two, three. Um, this is definitely a knuckle to knuckle blue rhinestone. So you have your lighter blue, blue, deeper blue. It's a dainty band. Sold two, two, three. I think we all heard that at one time or another, <laughs> right? <laughs> if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. <laughs> oh. All right, what else do we have back here? All right, let's go down. Now this was a fashion fix set. Um, and these were the earrings that were paired with the set, but I think these would look good with this as well. <sighs> oh my gosh, Cynthia. Susan, I had a bunch of bring me wrong for the night. Did she seriously say that? You win some, you lose some. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. You know, and there too, you were in that service field. Like servers, don't you realize that you provide exceptional service? Chances are you're going to get a pretty good tip. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Newly Neverland multi-color medium length necklace. So you've got the multiple chains at the bottom. We do have the matching bracelets. This has one, two, three, four, five stretch, individual stretch bracelets, 255. That one sold 255. 255. Like I said, this is the earring that uh, was part of the Fashion Fix, the coordinating earring with it. Lux Lagoon 226. 226, very lightweight earring. That one sold 226, but I think this blue would be pretty as well. What is going on? I have butterfingers tonight. There we go. <laughs> Eloquently Eden 227. 227. Yeah, that's that's not good. 227 Eloquently Eden. You know, word of mouth ha has a lot to do with Um, your business. And I think also, and I don't think enough companies do this or know this, but the way you treat your employees has a lot to do with how they perform. Right? Um... I think if you treat people with respect, you truly appreciate what they do, um, they're gonna go above and beyond for you. 
Ah, uh, yes, it does, Cynthia. Yeah, it does. Hold on, let me grab it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Let me get those blues. Yeah, it does. Right here. Yeah, you treat you treat your employees with respect, appreciate what they do. Now, sometimes, right, some people think what their job is is going above and beyond. And sometimes that's not the case. That's, you know, you have a certain level of I guess performance or you know an expectation that needs to be met but i think it's the attitude in which you do your work or um that comes through um this necklace oh this one here hold on let's put it to the test let's put it to the test let's put it to the test let me put that and that and that. It's no, well, no. This one is definitely more. Um, here, I'll, I'll hold them up. I think you were meant this necklace, correct, Susan? Yeah, they're they're a lightweight. They're not heavy. I don't think they're heavy at all. And this one's more like a frosted um, stone versus that solid. And I think it has more of a teal tone. This is more of like a cerulean blue. Oh, Susan, don't worry about it at all, <laughs> at all. But this one's not a heavy earring. They kind of sound it, but they're not. Um, no worries at all. That's what I'm here for, girl. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <gasps> oh, this one's already up here. East Coast Essence White Moonstone. I love this. This is a very feminine, soft. You're so welcome. <laughs> East Coast Essence sold 228. That one is 228 in the white moonstone. 228. Oops. Here we have sold 229. This is a stretch. Verdantly vintage. 229. I thought this in vine would be pretty with that. And oops, let's get that barcode to co cooperate. There it goes. And here's a white moonstone. W is the W. <laughs> oh my goodness. Elegantly Eden 230. Now this one, depending on how it picks up the light, sometimes it has a grayish um, hue to it. Sometimes it looks more white. When you put it, when I put it with the white, right, when you put it with the white, I think it looks more white. But then as the shadows, you can see, it will pick up kind of a grayish tone. So this one sold 230. 
and that stretch goes up to the top of the finger and then this ring here has a like frosted almost like an opalescent stone brilliantly bordered sold 231 231 standard stretch that one sold 231 i love these band styles 231 that over and dun, 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 dun. what do we want to go to <coughs> excuse me <coughs> all right how about some pearls now this has almost like an ombre you do <laughs> I love you you're so funny <gasps> So the, your two-tone of silver with the white, and I've got a few different earrings that I paired with this one. She's so funny. <gasps> Lady in Waiting. This is such an elegant necklace. Sold 232, 232 silvers, silvers and white. So we've got a couple of different uh, silver. Here is a one that's a little bit deeper. Headliner over heels, 230, where the white moonstones were. <laughs> it's so funny because some people see different things in different pieces. There was a necklace. Um, I actually, I wore it with this because I have it upstairs. I wore it with this top. And someone looked at it and said it looked like an egg. And I never saw that until she said it. And then I'm like, oh, it kind of does. Um, so this one's headliner over heels, 233. So that one's a little bit of a deeper silver, 233. I have this one in white as well. Headliner over heels, white, 234, 234. This has a lighter silver pearl. <laughs> Wreathed in radiance, sold 235. That one sold 235. And that's a light silver. It almost looks white on camera, but it's a light silver pearl. And here is a, another white. This one has a kind of vintage look. Victorian, I better get glowing. I better get glowing white pearl. Romance Remix 237. This is sold 237. It is a stretchy in that silver pearl. And a white pearl ring. And that's the beauty of this necklace. You really could, you know, put silver bracelet, white pearl ring, because of having all those different tones in there. One day at a showtime. One day at a showtime, DT band sold 238. That one is sold 238 one day. It's orange. And I use an iPhone. It's actually an, an older phone, too. Um, it's an iPhone 8, I think. I haven't gotten with the times yet. <laughs> Does it look more red on camera? Because it's a true orange color. It is a true orange. Because if it looks more red, maybe it's time I upgrade my camera. Or my phone, I should say. If it's not broken, <laughs> here we have a Z. It looks more red on camera. Oh, no. It is orange. And, and it's deeper than that orange. 
Alrighty. So here is a blingy bling 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 Z necklace. Is there a ring with a white or opal? <gasps> oh, Cynthia. Yes, 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 yes. It was a... I have not gotten it into the system yet. I have not gotten it in to the system. Is this the one you're referring to? That one right there? Oh, it does look red to you too, Tiffany. Oh, is this the one? That one has a dainty this was a Fashion Fix exclusive piece that I have not gotten into the system yet, but if you want it, I will um, add it. Yep, okay. It is yours. It is yours. Let me... Okay, whoops, I'm dropping Cynthia. Okay, it's yours. All right. And I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Like if you're, um, although it, shows more red on Facebook as well. Um, you know what, Cynthia? Hold on. One. I'm gonna grab the ring and see and um, I have these two. This one's a bangle, gleam getter, but let me just hold it up to the ring. Um I think the ring looks a little bit more white. So this one's two four zero two four zero. This one has a little bit more um, clarity to it, like more clear. But it does have a like a white frosted, not quite as white as the ring. This one is a, this one has a lobster claw clasp. This one, you're going to pick up kind of different, that stone that's on there. The faceting is around the edge of the stone flat top. Not a fan of bangles. Okay. So this one is called Ms. Glow It All. Ms. Glow It All. This one looks almost more like a moonstone, but that one's white. Um, and then I have these two. Now this one here, this one here I think actually might be the best option. This one is for individual stretch. This is called Day Trip Trinket. Day Trip Trinket. Right. This one sold two four two two four two. 
for that one. And there's a four individual stretch. Now this one doesn't have any stone, but this one is a fun, and I paired this one with that turquoise. I just thought this is a fun uh, bracelet. Garden Hearts 243. So this is a silver. Every other heart has almost like a white wash to it. So you can see each heart, every other heart, and all the hearts are different. You have detail on all. It does have a lobster claw closure. That one's called Garden Hearts, sold 243, 243. Let me put that ring back in there and over here. Yeah, see, there you go. Sometimes you just need to see different pieces together. Um, or it may trigger like, oh, I, ha I do have that, which is always good, right? <laughs> All righty, bling, 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 bling. Now this is a lighter weight uh, necklace. It's called Irresistible. This is from 2020. The Z piece sold 239, 239. So this one, Oh, you're so welcome. This one is definitely a statement piece. But I think bling looks great worn casually. The right necklace, obviously. Right, you couldn't put every single bling necklace with jeans and a t-shirt and ugly jacket, but there are some you definitely can. So that one sold 239. I have a couple of blingy bracelets. Here is a stretch option, easy on the ice. Easy on the ice, sold 244, 244. Stretchy. And this is a top opened hinge. Call me old fashioned, 245. That one is sold 245. And this one too. I got a little bit of room in there with my seven inch wrist. It's comfortable, two, four, five. Here is a white rhinestone and this pearl at the bottom, which has a peep of fuzz, there we go. This pearl at the bottom has an iridescence to it. So this is like a coating of an iridescent um, as you move that and the light hits it, you will see and pick up different pastel colors. Post earring, very, very lightweight. Yacht Scene, sold 246. That one is 246, which I think would be cute with that blingy necklace. And here is just a post, what should I bling? What should I bling? Sold 247. That one is sold 247. Now, another option with any right white rhinestone necklace, you can pull all the colors in. So in this case, if I wore that white rhinestone statement, I could pull this teal in. So the bracelet is called Devoted to Drama. Now this one doesn't have any white rhinestones, but you've got that sparkle that'll pull in from the earring. 248 and the earrings sold 249 glitzy go getter this is on the smaller side lightweight gorgeous color 249 so don't think just because you've got white rhinestone all white rhinestone you can't pull in other colors Alrighty, I'm gonna hop over here in case you missed this one. I know there's a few, quite a few of these going out tomorrow, um, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say after you get yours and open it. Just a reminder: when 
it's going to come into a plastic sleeve like all of the pieces do. This piece is in its own separate on top of that. So when you pull the whole necklace out of the sleeve, there will be another plastic piece on here. Do not just yank that piece of paper off. Um, so it slides up over this acrylic piece. You can open it and you'll be able to easily kind of rip the sides, but then you'll want to use scissors to kind of cut across. So that way, because if you yank on it hard, you're going to pull that right off. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Seaside shanty. So just be careful when you're taking the plastic off of it. Um, I, you know, I check things. I do my best to check everything before it goes out. I did not want to pull that extra plastic off because I want to. I want it to stay protected in transit. The earrings are worth the five dollars alone. <laughs> Got two that are going crazy in the card. They're smushed in here. There we go. <clears throat> Seaside Shanty is the name of this piece. Sold 250, 250 and it is a stunning color. So the earrings do come with that, but, ooh, good catch cam. You have this option as well. That necklace is very beachy. These are pearlized shells, sailboats, and seashells. Two fifty one, sold two five one. Very very lightweight earring. That one is two fifty one. All right. Did I get that? We got that. We got that. We got that. Oh no, we didn't get this one. Hold on. Hold on. We got one more set to go. No, same necklace, two different colors. She is one of the top if she is not the number one. She's at the top. So last year there were four Empire Seller. Um, she, my upline was one of the four, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> yes. I, I couldn't honestly tell you um, who is the number one seller because unless they're specifically like telling paparazzi the sales, their actual dollar sales, uh, which I don't believe anybody is actually doing that. But as far as the uh, ranks, that's based off of what we buy. And what we buy should be in relation to what we sell right um and the huge benefits to uh, being under an empire uh, seller and, and this goes for anyone who joins my team right so anyone under me who would choose me as their sponsor they get the same benefits that i get being under um jamie my upline so the empire diamond pieces or her black diamond or a pink diamond, those pieces, everyone in her downline, all the way down. So it's not just the folks that are uh, her personally sponsored, it's anyone within her downline has access to those pieces. So yeah, it's, it's a huge deal. Someday I'll get there. <laughs> Primitive sold 252, 252 in the white stone and this is one solid piece so that's the white here's the turquoise 253 again you would never in a million years think that this was a five dollar piece of jewelry ever 253 for the turquoise these earrings are very very lightweight would look fabulous with either one of those. Canoe, Canyon Canoe Ride. No, so the ranks, as far as, you know, Empire, Pink, Diamond, Black Diamond, I'm kind of going down the line. Um, Empire Diamond, Pink Diamond, Black Diamond, Diamond. 
platinum, gold, silver, bronze. Those are strictly, those ranks are strictly uh, based off of what we purchased. So I was a gold, I finished 2020, the paparazzi 2021 year, which was the end of June. I finished as a gold seller, which means I purchased and sold 7,500 pieces of jewelry in that 12 from July 1st of 2020 to June 31st of 2021. Um, so that's strictly based off of what you purchase, which should be in relation to what you sell. Um, the recruiting comes into a different ranking. Um, so there is, you know, director and executive director and producer and executive producer. So as you recruit, um, people, you move up that, but the other one, um, is strictly your own. Um, we actually have a small team compared to a lot of the other, uh, teams. I want to say in total, there's probably just over a hundred or 150 maybe, but some of these teams have thousands of people on them, <laughs> which is another perk, uh, I guess, because some of these um, Empire Diamond pieces, they sold out like that. Um, so even the teams, the bigger your team, the harder it is for everybody to get that piece because they sell out so quickly. Canyon Canoe Ride, where our team, we were able to, we didn't sell out. So, you know, pros and cons. <laughs> Desert Flower Patch. This bracelet runs on the larger side. Even uh, for me, 255. It does have a little bit of give, but you have to be careful, especially when you have, um, you know, detail at the top that is soldered in. You, you don't want to have a tiny, tiny wrist trying to squeeze this completely down because one of those flowers are just going to end up letting go. Um, but you do have a little bit of give to it. I would have to squeeze this down a little bit to wear it. Yes, yes. But I am in negotiations <laughs> with somebody right now about the angel wings. The, the dragonfly could not find anybody because they had all sold out, right? People were just not wanting to let them go or trade with another consultant for them. Um, but the angel one, I have been in contact and I have somebody who is willing to do a trade. So that one is a possibility um the dominican republic republic trip um so you can earn points toward your hotel room um for the trip that is based off of recruiting and whether or not anyone in your, on your team hits an, another rank, I believe. So as your um, downline ranks up, you can earn points towards that. The angel one, Susan, the photo, is that what you're asking for? And I will, once I know for sure, I, I hated to Put it out there again because with the dragonfly I put it out on our group page and i was like heartbroken when somebody said nope sorry i can't do it um but i can put the the angel wing one on our group just saying i might be able to get this one <laughs> i just hate to promise i don't well i can't promise what would I design when I make Empire? Oh my gosh, Cynthia. I, you know, I have thought about it. Um, and it's funny because I look at, you know, different things. I don't think I would do a big blingy piece, to be honest. I don't think I would do a big blingy piece. Um, I think I would probably try something that 
um, is more universal, I guess is a better, I guess a good word, where a lot of different people, you know, would probably like it. You know, some people like, love bling, some people don't like bling at all. But yeah, that would be, it would be hard. <laughs> I'm sure I could do it though. Did I scan this one? I did. So this is Desert Flower Patch Blue 256, 256. But all good questions, all good questions. Um, and if anyone has thought about, you know, becoming a consultant and you want more information or you want to chat about it, um, let me know. Uh, you know what? It probably is true, Cynthia. It probably is. Yeah. It probably is true. But that's probably a really big team, right? Because the... Empire piece. So this one was my upline, Jamie's Empire piece. You, the team has exclusive access to buy that for 48 hours. So if you've got this huge team, boom, they probably all bought it. You, Susan, we are allowed to sell pieces for more than five dollars we are not allowed to sell them for less than five dollars so i have seen people charge more for oil spill um yeah and you're saying some people are charging for the empire pieces more you, you know you are allowed to do it for more but then you're just kind of you know hurting your you know as competitive Yeah, not everybody wants blingy, blingy, bling all the time. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'd really have to think about it. And I probably would reach out to all my customers and ask for um, ideas and suggestions. You know, because you guys would be the first ones to <laughs> that I would uh, present it to, you know. But we were not allowed, so as an empire, you were not allowed to communicate to your team um, or to anyone what that piece is. Um, so I didn't know what Jamie's piece was until it actually released for sale to our team. I couldn't wait to see it, but they're not allowed to tell anyone about it. No one on their team, so we had no idea what it was going to be. Um, which was another part of the reason why not everybody was willing to trade because you have no clue what you're trading for. So um, the dragonfly necklace came out before our piece came out. So to make that trade, those people had no clue what they were trading for. So it's, yeah. <laughs> Um, so if they can, you know, they sell it for more than five, you know, good for them, not good for the customer when you know that it's a $5 piece of jewelry. That's what other people are selling it for. No, I didn't, Cynthia. No, we didn't have any idea. I mean, I assumed it was a necklace, but I had absolutely no clue what it was. And she, you know, and I would do the same. If I was told not to tell, I would not tell. <laughs> I'm kind of a rule follower that way. <laughs> but yeah. So, you know, it's understandable why people were hesitant to do trades before they even knew what they were trading for. But um, I'm pretty happy with it, I have to say. Uh, you know, I'd be bouncing off the walls and the ceiling when, or I shouldn't say wood, when I design my own empire piece, I'll be bouncing all over the place. <gasps> yeah, exactly. You're right. Yes, actually, I just heard somebody did a bracelet. Yeah, see, Cynthia knows. She's on top of things. Yep. I think it was an iridescent bracelet, like a too. Um, I haven't seen any 
um, we're in groups for trades. I haven't seen any of those come across yet. <laughs> but if I do, I definitely will try and get those. All right, my friends, you guys ready for tomorrow night? So tomorrow night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, we are here for our Halloween party. We'll have some giveaways. I believe so. I believe so. Yeah. Um, so make sure you spread the word. We're going to try and see if we can get as many people on tomorrow night's live as we can. Um, please, you know, I appreciate you spreading the love and the, spread the love that we're drawing that we would have done tonight. We're going to do that one tomorrow night. So that way everybody gets to see that we do do a spread the love. Go ahead, guess. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm saying is I'm going to have big hair. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to have big hair. Do you remember the big hair days? <laughs> oh. And let's see how many people we have here. couch potatoes <laughs> I might do that I might be that in a, a little while Sunny and Cher nope I'm not skinny enough to play Cher <laughs> and Mr. Bling's not short enough to play Sunny Although I, I did have to make an adjustment to the costume. Part of it didn't fit me. <laughs> space theme? No space theme. Nope. Not a space theme. Not a space theme. 80s. I'll say 80s. But it could be 70s. It could be 60s. It could be 50s. It could be um, any decade. But we're kind of gearing it towards the 80s because that's when we were in high school. I graduated in 1982. <laughs> Austin Powell. Oh my God, he would be so funny at that too. Nope, not Austin. <laughs> I wish I could think of something like really that wouldn't completely give it away. And I think certain things will just completely give it away. But you'll have to join us tomorrow night, 930. So everyone, um, don't know chicks. <laughs> That's too funny. I don't either. <gasps> That's too funny. But I did like when I saw uh, some pictures, I really liked the, the, Forrest Gump and Jenny costume. That was really cute. Really cute. All right. So tomorrow night, Oompa Loompa. <laughs> oh. And you had the original um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or the newer one with Johnny Depp. Oh, but nope, not an Oompa Loompa. Tomorrow night, you'll have to see. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Make sure you spread the word. Invite all your friends tomorrow night because if we can get that number up high, we're going to add a Z necklace to the giveaway as well. So we're going to try and get as many people on there as we can. I just want to say thank you again. You all have a fabulous rest of your evening. Um, have a magnificent Monday, as Cynthia would say. And it is Motivational Monday, so we'll be doing a post tomorrow morning, and uh, I will see you tomorrow night. Not looking like this. <laughs> All right, everyone, good night. Thank you so much.